Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, we had a little issue the other day, and essentially what happened is that, like, Bandit's kind of bad for jumping up and grabbing the handle sometimes whenever, like, Shadow's outside or, you know, when he sees someone out the window. He's like, oh, hey! And then I think he tries to open the door for people, more or less. Well, as you can see, as I keep kind of thumping it, the door's kind of kicking out, and this happened. So you can kind of see how this mounts in. It's got two little fingers there. The one finger's broke off completely, and that part there is bent. So I kind of just jammed everything together. It's still workable. Well, I say as I break it. <laughs> at some point in time, we're looking at replacing the door or, you know, changing it up. The door's a little bit older. It's got some cracks in it. As far as like the little like plastic framing here, and I don't know if that seals directly to the window part. A little bit of, you know, age crack there as well, yellow plastic. So, and the finish is kind of fading, which is easy enough just to repaint. Which would be great if this was like summertime. <laughs> but as you can see, it is not summertime. So basically what we're looking at doing is just replacing this knob here. And it's pretty simple. So this one here is an old like Schlage or Schlage. I forget how you say that exactly. Pretty decent doorknob, lasted quite a while really. But it has no lock on it, which is handy. Because then we don't need to worry about the boys accidentally triggering something. And really, in hindsight, as we bought the new one, I was thinking, boy, if we would have got a round knob, we wouldn't really have to worry about this. <laughs> But essentially, we just picked up a quick set one. So this one has like a 99% cleaner because it's something with microband. One tool installation, fits all standard doors, certified durability and reversible lever, which is handy because like this is right way up. That's upside down. And one of the big things you want to check is that like back here, so it says fits all standard doors, two and three eighths to two and three quarter back sets. So that's from the plate here to here, like the very center, or down here. So from the plate there to the very center there. And on one and three eighths to one and three quarter door thicknesses. So real quick, I've got that just about right at the edge where that's at. It looks like it's inset a little bit right there. So we might have a little bit of fuzzy logic that we can play with. And then looks like we're at the two and three quarter centered mark. So just short of one and a quarter, depending on how I grab on it, like the roundness of its door. So this should work out pretty good. All I got to do first, take two screws out here, the two screws out here, and disassemble the old parts. And then you pretty much want to remember that the side that has like the screws in it goes to the inside. That way, the person on the outside can't just take your screws out and have access to the inner workings of your door handle. And then we've got this pretty much laid out. Old parts to new parts. So we went with like a bronze coloring for it. Mostly because we're thinking about going to bronze for the deadbolt tube whenever we do that. This is kind of like a darker color to it. And then this is kind of like a black slash bronzy look to it too. So, you know, everything will kind of sort of match someday. <laughs> and then the new like inner workings are actually pretty cool because essentially we set this in place. This piece right here should be up over here. So it's slightly off. So all you have to do is take this pin that's right there, slide it up and over, and it'll extend it out, just like that. So now it's longer, set it in place, and now that's right in the center where it should be. And then hardware-wise, it's got some pretty short little screws that go actually into the door. They were slightly longer on the old one, and then these are a pretty decent size that actually go into the striker, and longer than the old ones were. So a little bit of give and take there. But you may want to have even longer ones 
for that striker plate. That way it goes maybe and hits another stud. It's all about, you know, how much security you want. So I ran those two screws in real quick. And then all I'm doing now is just inserting this inside. So you just kind of line up this curved end here into that, you know, mushroom shaped hole. <laughs> so that just goes like that. You want to make sure that those kind of like screw stanchions so where the, the screws actually go into go into the round sections of that center piece and then everything lines up looks like on the door it's got this round section here i'm assuming that's like an anti-crush collar for the door to help keep people from just over tightening it and then just crushing this section here now when it comes to actually attaching this inside piece you can see that screw's super easy to get to. The other screw, not so much. In order to just not have to hold that handle down the entire time, there's a little set screw in there. And when you turn this one on this particular model, that set screw, as you loosen it, so lefty loosey, it actually runs that screw in. So that screw has reverse thread. And then once the screws actually run in so far, you're able to just pull the handle off. They include a pretty nice extra long kind of Allen wrench for you. So this is pretty simple to do. And it has a pretty positive stop. So it feels like you tightened it essentially when you loosen it. And then that'll fall off. So you can see there's that set screw. So it's pretty much captured there. And then you're able to put this on and mount the other screws with ease. And then all you have to do is just put the new handle on, put the extra long Allen wrench in, go ahead and tighten her up. That'll bring the screw actually out a little bit. Everything will be all good to go. And then it's pretty simple just to swap out the striker plate. So you can kind of see on mine big open crevasse back there <laughs> so the longer screws aren't exactly going to go into anything particularly special it might wind up hitting that stuff back there maybe so but it's just one of those things that maybe when we go to swap that door out maybe i pull this frame out too and do a little tweaking and that i'll either you know maybe either fill it up with like some wood in there that way it just makes it a little bit extra sturdy or spray foam to help you know insulate just a little bit better so hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll check it next time yep everything works all good to go